So I know this is going to be a little bit weird, but I'm just going to come right out and say it. It's a little bit chilly in my living room, so yes, I set a fire in my bookshelf to keep warm. And when I was doing that, it reminded me of how cold the internet can be. So I want to talk about the worst thing I've ever seen anyone cancelled for in my entire life. So long story short, a couple weeks ago I was doing my usual thing and just spamming my Twitter feed with a bunch of nonsense that no one cares about or really wants to see, when I saw Chrissy Teigen's name being shared around, then it wasn't for good reasons. There was a lot of people saying some really nasty stuff. And then when you looked into it, it was actually kind of absurd that people were mad about it. What's the most expensive thing you've eaten that you thought sucked? One time John and I were at a restaurant and the waiter recommended a nice Cabernet. We got the bill and it was $13,000. How do you casually recommend that wine? We didn't even finish it and it had been cleared. Okay, so that still doesn't sound too bad. She was just at a restaurant in theory, asked for a bottle of wine, the waiter recommended one, and they didn't think to ask how much it cost. And then they found out after it was already billed to them how much it cost. Isn't it kind of on the waiter to disclose that to you? She doesn't specify any specifics, like what kind of restaurant it is, or whether she even asked for the bottle of wine. She just says that the waiter recommended it, and then didn't tell them how much the bottle of wine cost, and they found out later after the bottle of wine had already been paid for, after the payment had already cleared. By the way, what I realized in editing is that when she says it had been cleared before they finished it, she meant that they had taken it off the table. They had removed it and taken it away. They cleared the table, before they had a chance to finish drinking it and then build them for the full thing without ever disclosing the price. Now to any normal rational sane person, I imagine this to me sounds like just an anecdote, just like an interesting time that they were sort of taken advantage of because yes, they should have asked how much the bottle of wine costs first, but I really don't think that they expected as most people wouldn't the bottle of wine to be so astronomically high in cost. They're probably at a restaurant, you know, figure you know, a couple hundred dollars maybe, and that's it, instead of $13,000. Even somebody earning like $100,000 a year can probably afford on a really, really special date night, a couple hundred dollars for a special bottle of wine, or champagne, whatever, for them and their special significant other. But 13K is a massive amount of money. Now, it's not a surprise that somebody with like 13 million Twitter followers is gonna get a bunch of replies. What is surprising is how many people were personally offended because of the number 13,000. People are not going to relate to this. And boy, oh boy, were they right. I, I really don't know what this person themselves were thinking when they wrote this, but it seems like they were bothered a little by it because they personally couldn't relate to it. But the number of people that not only couldn't relate, but felt attacked by the fact that she said this, oh, it was just absurd. You do not. You take $13,000 and unselfishly think of how many families you could feed, help keep their lights on, and help others. Solved. Think of others and you don't have to rub it in the face of others that may not make that in a year. We're in a pandemic. Think of others. Uh, hold on. Wait a minute. I'm trying to wrap my head around what that actually says. Um, did you recover? Meanwhile, people are out here drowning in debt, losing their homes, and can't afford to see a doctor. Okay, slow down. Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? Who said anything about being sorry? That's my for a year. This just makes me feel very sad. In future, could you please send this to the group chat and not share it with a bunch of people? I swear, man, I know I make a lot of typos on Twitter, but this is absolutely absurd. I feel like I need to get Dr. Frankenstein to try and put all these tweets back together in the right order again, because none of them make any sense. That's my rent for a year. This just makes me feel very sad. In future, could you please send this to the group chat and not share it with a bunch of broke slash poor people? I see people on here every day who have to crowdfund rent and I send them money and you drank a year of it. So now nobody's allowed to talk about money on Twitter because it triggers you? You're so out of touch, it's sad. Were they looking in a mirror that said reality on it when they typed this? You're a bad person. You're a bad person. I, I can't relate to you, so you're a bad person. You know, when the majority of folks here are at best working paycheck to paycheck, this is just tone deaf. Own it. So in a time when people are being taken advantage of left and right, she's not allowed to talk about when she was taken advantage of because she had the money to deal with it. Am I crazy or do a lot of these replies sound a little bit victim blamey? I also think it's a little bit perfect that her name is Karen and her at is angry black girl. Now that's just like, I think eight of the replies that there's a ton more replies and there's a whole ton of quote tweets too. This went far and wide. People just calling her like a classist, people that are talking about how out of touch it is, how like this is the rich elite being scanned by the poor man. People that were giving the waiter props for ripping her off. And while yeah, it's definitely dumb they didn't think to 
ask how much the bottle of wine was going to be, I could completely understand why if you go to a restaurant, even a high end restaurant, you would probably think, well, they'll let us know if it's an astronomically high priced bottle of wine. She didn't say the way to rip them off. She didn't say that they scammed them. No, nothing like that. She said, who recommends a bottle this expensive with out disclosing how much it costs. It was stupid to not ask, and I'm sure she'd admit that now, but at the same time, it still doesn't change what actually happened and who's being blamed here. What's even crazier to me is the idea that you can't talk about money because we're in the middle of a pandemic. Two weeks ago, we were talking about how many people are making crazy amounts of money on GameStop stock and all these other, but you, Chrissy Teigen, no, 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 no. We, can, we can't talk about how much money you got tricked out of when you bought a bottle of wine by accident. Oh, come on. I wasn't going to show the quote tweets, but this is absolutely insane. Seriously, my dear, you should tweet less, my dear. I can relate to her because one time I accidentally spent 10 lakh. I don't know how to pronounce that, rupees on a degree that I don't even use. I can't tell if they're actually kidding or trying to be passive aggressive. Now, it's not all bad. There are actually a lot of people that understand where she's coming from and understand that this was not intended to be like some relatable thing. This is just a conversation start. This is just an interesting thought that passed about something interesting that happened in the past where she felt like they were taken advantage of a little bit. Had the same thing happen at Chipotle. MF added guac and it caused me to overdraft my account. I can totally relate. Here we go. One guy went home a legend that night and it wasn't John. On. Nothing but respect for the guy who slid a $13,000 bottle into a bill like a tip king. Nothing but respect for the guy that took advantage of that situation. I mean, this is essentially the same thing as when you go and you get a phone and then they tack on a bunch of hidden fees that they don't tell you about and you have to actually ask if they exist. I mean, maybe a little bit less because you specifically acknowledge you were getting the bottle of wine. You don't acknowledge you're getting those fees. But the point is, they still weren't made aware of what was being actually purchased. Now, one of the really unfortunate things about all this is that she was having actual conversation with people for about 40 minutes, like really in enjoyable conversation, it seems, before all the negative stuff started happening, before everyone started going after her as if she's some kind of evil witch for talking about the time that she got ripped off. She was even talking to people about the fact that she was going dry, meaning that she's not drinking alcohol anymore, saying the comments here are so kind and helpful. So many of you stand in anxiety, solidarity. Anxiety naturally makes your world feel very small, so it's helpful to see so many of you relate. This appears to be right before the toxic bomb of douchebag shows up. Now, thankfully, not everyone was stupid enough to let their personal situation situation get in between them and reality uh, because there were some people that actually jumped in to defend her like sane people. I don't usually jump in to defend celebrities or people I don't know, but geez, this is relatable. Whether we've been screwed over by $13,000 bottle of wine or a $45 bottle of wine. Like, chill. Chrissy, I'm sorry you're having a hard week. Poor or rich, we all have hard times. First off, dang, what a flex. I certainly don't have enough balls for that kind of suggestion. Secondly, compare it to buying the Trader Joe's two buck chuck and it's $14 bottle of crappy wine. We've all been there. Stop being dickheads and try and bring it to your level. We're all human here. That's a lousy waiter who straight up manipulated y'all. I've waited tables on and off for about 16 years, and no, you never recommend something more than the cost of an entree without asking if the price is okay. Doesn't matter who you're serving or how much money you think they have. And 13K? Now, all that is bad enough, right? Like, all she did is share a story about a time that she felt ripped off. And in all reality, she kind of did get ripped off. That's all that really was. She got ripped off. Think about it like this. Every time that anyone gets ripped off, they usually have an option that could have gotten them out of it, right? There's usually some kind of red flag or something. There's usually a way for you to get away from the situation before you get ripped off. In this case, yeah. It was just asking how much the bottle of wine was. The waiter seems to have probably known what they were doing. Like, how do you just casually do that? That was probably the most expensive bottle on the, on the menu and they just rolled with it. There's that, that doesn't just happen. Now, on top of all of that, there's even more reason that I hope some of these people watch this video and feel ashamed of themselves because they didn't understand at all how special or rather significant this day really was to Chrissy. She responded to the original tweet that set everything off. Hey, not everything I say on my Twitter is going to be relatable to you because it's my life and my Twitter and my stories. I see your tweets. I get your jokes. You're so funny. Yes, you really nailed me. Then she tweeted separately, me sharing a story of getting screwed over by a waiter. Share story of rough week. Baby would have been born. Feeling anxious, sad, you. Let's effing own this rich bitch for retweets. Now, in case you're wondering what she means by Cher's rough story of week, baby would have been born means she had a pregnancy that unfortunately did not go the way we would hope it would go. I don't know all the details, but long story short, 
Unfortunately, the child did not make it. She tweeted earlier that day, my little Jack would have been born this week, so I'm a little bit off. I truly feel kicks in my belly, but it's not phantom. I have surgery for endometriosis tomorrow, but the period feeling this month is exactly like baby kicks. Sigh. Then she tweets a video of her abdomen beneath it. Now, she seems to be saying that, yeah, that's not the baby kicking, but she's refusing to believe that it's not the baby kicking and she's always going to remember that as the baby kicking. This is an insanely hard thing for a woman to do, be they carry a baby and then have to say goodbye to it without ever actually really meeting the baby. And what's even worse is that it seems she posted these before the backlash had even happened, or at least before she was even aware of it. So the context as to why she might have be having a rough day and all that was on her Twitter. Now, Personally, I don't fault people for not checking her Twitter to see, hey, is she okay before I post anything about this? I'm not saying that at all. But it just makes it even worse in hindsight how badly people overreacted to this. So not only did they freak out and overreact to the fact that she had gotten scammed and turned it into some kind of eat the rich thing, but they also did it on a day where she was struggling with the loss of a child she never actually got to meet. They should feel so proud of themselves, shouldn't they, for crapping all over a woman mourning her loss and talking about a time that she was ripped off. I'm sure this moral and ethical zombie horde then moved on to criticize some senior citizen for complaining about the time that they were, you know, ripped off in an insurance fraud scheme or something like that. Seems kind of on brand for that kind of mentality. Anyway, thank you so much, everybody, for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a filler video, but I hope you guys enjoy the filler content. I'm going to start putting out more filler videos because I can't keep not up uploading stuff while I work on big projects. It just, it pisses me off not uploading. And with that, of course, I need to give a special thanks to the patron saints, Master Roshi, John Swan, Paul Wentworth, Alex, UMB, Logan Campbell, Lady Zubat, Bo Blacks, and Pantsless Gamers. I know I say it a lot, but I really do mean it. Thank you so much, everybody, for all the extra support. It really does mean a lot to me, and uh, it, it really does help me afford to, to pay for the editing software and all that every month, so I really appreciate it. And hopefully, I'm actually able to do what I hope I have planned for the next few months. I'm really hoping some of these things come out. Death Noodles video coming out soon, so I uh, hope you guys enjoy that. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.